Oh, and I got gushing magma for it. Sure. Now there's two exits. Let's check this exit out first. Oh. Oh no, you don't ever want to give me options. Blade, how's life treating you, dude? I think it is. I I remember somebody redeeming it, and I put it on the schedule. But I haven't fixed up the schedule in a week or two. I, uh... <laughs> I, I really should. Hmm. Hit this one. Oh no! It countered! Damn it. I can't remember. Uh, is... Were you talking about the Mystical Ninja for the Super Nintendo or the N64? Last hit. Oh, please don't debuff us. Bud. Yeah, this thing isn't dying. I, you know what? Hold on. Wait, is it almost dead? Okay, it's almost dead. I don't. I don't need to do it. But from now on, this thing's getting magic six stone. Also, by the way, Blade Shady, if you're still here, how is Hot's been treating you? Ooh, spirit potion. I don't think so. I don't like spirit potion. It's like 100 SP, and that's literally one turn of auto attack. So, yes. Oh no. Why is there so many different paths to go? Hey, wolf. I was life treating you today, dude. Yeah, I, I just finished a ghost ship, which by the way, I managed to get the uh, the reward from the chest. T Timmy was like, Timmy was like, go back, do it. You got it, you got to do it. I was like, but it'll take days. Timmy's like, nah, you got this, and I got it. I got the super loot, the ultimate war god. Oh, that's gonna really hurt, isn't it? Ow! Nobody else gets to attack. No. We gotta cleanse. It was hilarious! I got it today, and it was just... <laughs> I had the perfect combination to do it. It was so lucky. Alright. I think that cleanses... It did. I'm telling you, if, if it comes to luck, <laughs> if it comes to luck, uh, Shady can tell you, I am the lord of it. <laughs> the, uh, the thing, it was, it was called, I think, Ultimate War God. It was an accessory. Well, one thing is, uh, I, after watching the cinematic, I was like, ooh, 
oh, the, no, the Earth Dragoon's gonna die. And then I was like, wait, there's an Earth Dragoon. I'm gonna get an Earth Dragoon. <sighs> and also that I think Rose might be... Rose is either 10,000 years old, which means she's immortal, which means somehow the magic made her immortal and she literally cannot die, which is why she's just so depressed. Because literally, if you live 10,000 years, I think you would get pretty depressed. I, I don't think immortality will be fun. <laughs> or, she ported here from the past. Which means when, when her, like... Her, like, all of her friends died, something happened with the magic that teleported her to the present. And now she's stuck in the present instead of the past. And she can't go back. So there's, there's something going on, and also, I don't think Shauna can be the black monster, but I think Shauna is the cursed child. I think Shauna will destroy the world. I think it's time to get rid of one Sun Rhapsody, because I have too many mana restorers, especially for a team that doesn't really heal. Recovery ball. Wait, was this all just one giant dead end up here? That doesn't make sense. I guess this was a side path. Oh, dang, I'm gonna have to fight again. And yeah, Wolf, it does. I have it on Albert right now, which is sad because Albert has like no, um,. No magic evasion anymore. <laughs> Ooh, big red. I. It's got to be on the PSN shop somewhere so you don't have to deal with that nonsense because that sounds terrible. Stop this mermaid, please. I really appreciate that too, because I I love I love the freedom to be able to come up with the theories. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I remember recovery balls are kind of bad. I'm just gonna you know throw this on start. And it became MP again. Okay, you have a physical barrier, but you do not. Ooh. Like, I'm having a blast with it right now. I will say that. Oh no, I missed the last hit. This is the first time I've messed up on that edition, and I broke the stun too. Okay, you have a physical attack barrier on you right now. I guess we're gonna kill the mermaid. I love that I just don't have to worry about Albert anymore. Albert just completes all of his additions. Like that should be zero damage? Oh no, I guess the physical barrier is gone? Sweet. Oh, I should have healed Dart. I'm scared of those trolls now. I, I'm i gonna have to Sig Stone them every time they come up. Those, like, those shells are super, like, physical resistant. But that's fine. I have a way to get around that with, uh, Aihachi here. It's gonna be so good. Oh, and Wolf, I also got all the, uh, 
the other loot's out of the chest too. So I got, I got an amulet which it prevents uh, instant death. So I think that's gonna be pretty good too in case I run into like that boss from Final Fantasy X again. That boss from Final Fantasy X was hell. Sounds cool, Shinra. And yeah, I've never played a Star Ocean game before. I have no idea about it. Thankfully, I, I'm very glad that it has nothing to do with the actual ocean. Because <laughs> the actual ocean is terrifying. Alright, you... I want you to throw out a Sig Stone. Actually, no. You're just gonna Dragoon up. Ooh, Mass Effect is such a good game. I played Mass Effect 1. I don't think I've ever gotten to play 2 or 3, though. But I've I've heard that 3 kind of falls apart, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Oh, this fish is fried. And this is why Hashel is the best character. Here, have, have it speed up. For what, uh, Mass Effect Big Raid? Alright, destroy this one. No, I didn't. I didn't even know there was a new edition coming out. I thought that series was over. I thought, I thought Bioware was making action games nowadays. Oh, see you, Big Red. I have no idea what I'm going to stream this evening. I, I'm still not sure. Oh, right. I'm starting Spyro 2 tonight. There's something I was going to do for one of my characters in between fights, but nah, I don't think so. Oh Jesus, just makes it even more confusing. Like, how do I get to that? Oh, I think I just jumped. Yeah! Burnout. Cool. Give me lots of fire attacks. I think I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use a healing breeze. Oh, that's cool. If you don't want to heal, you could just swap out your party members and bring other party members in because it heals everybody. Outside of combat, it heals all seven of them. So I could have just like swapped out everybody and brought somebody else in. And then when the all the sets of teams like got low, I could pop a healing breeze to maximize its effectiveness. But I am not that much of a min-maxer. <laughs> I've even been told that I am lazy. <laughs> Is, Andra is Andromeda the uh, the third uh, Mass Effect game? You stop the mermaid. Oh, there's a fourth. There's a fourth Mass Effect game. I didn't even know. Hey, Wolf, welcome back, dude. Is your internet just like chopping out? 
I know a couple people have been mentioning that they've been having internet problems all day. Maybe it's like a, a big, like, East Coast thing. Alright, you speed it up. Actually, please. I can't believe that thing actually survives Albert. Oh. Like wait, they only let you on Wi-Fi for a certain amount of time, or is it like they're like, oh you're you were supposed to have checked out now? Okay, this is insane. Hashel is probably the strongest character. Yes. Go. <laughs> Dang, zero damage really? I thought. Oh, it's visible attack barrier X amount of turns? I thought it was like consumed after one hit. Yeah! Oh, and now it's stunned. Alright, let's finish the mermaid off then. Again, I never expect it. Take that, summon four gods. That is ridiculous. Like, I I know uh, a friend of mine had that problem once at a hotel. They kept disconnecting his internet over and over and over again, like every single day. I gotta get rid of these attack balls. I don't want them. They're they're like. The last time I used one, it just gave me, like, one of the worst... Uh, I kind of want to get in another fight and just throw those attack balls out. Give me in a fight, I'm just going to throw attack balls. <laughs> $10 a day for internet. Dang. On top of renting the hotel, like... If you're on vacation, you have to rent the hotel for like, uh, I don't know, I like the hotel room for like, uh, like maybe a hundred dollars a day, higher depending on like, the hotel. And then they want another ten dollars a day for, for the good internet. The internet that's like so powerful, it's not like it's gonna get like locked up. Every single person in that building could like be downloading at the same time, and it wouldn't. I wouldn't bother them at all. I mean, like, up until recently, my internet cost, like, per month was insane. It was like $240 a month for me to have my internet. It was way too high. Uh oh. I am so bad at mashing. Next one. I think I am hitting all of them with this. Nice. They just like they charge that fee to every single person in Newfoundland. We have like we have one ISP that has like five well we have two that have fiber op. 
but one of them is only like in the main city barely like even even like outside of like one of our main like metropolitan like cities like it's just like in that one hub and the other one goes all over the island and the other one is like they just have a flat rate for everywhere which is extremely high Yeah, Roger is just in the big... Roger's... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, you're in Canada, so you know. <laughs> yeah, Roger's is in the big city, and Bell is all over the place. And Bell is the one that's charging, like... Charging, like, an arm and a leg. And, yeah, I agree with you, Shinra, or Shinra like... It's it's definitely a hundred percent a money grab. I mean, I've I've had problems with like Rogers before, so I wasn't like super excited of the like with the idea of getting Rogers, but at the same time, like it's not available in my area at all, and apparently it's just like. Bell just charges an arm and a leg. <laughs> Dude, that is a, a long time to be in a hotel. Though I have heard... I, I have heard that, like, there are people who just live in hotels. Which I mean, <laughs> honestly, it would it wouldn't be too bad for me, because I cook literally everything in an air fryer, so I don't need like a big stove or anything like that. I could just have an air fryer in my room and I would cook everything. <laughs> Wait, am I on Prison Island? Oh, and I think that's Lloyd. Hey, welcome back, Big Red. By the way, apparently everybody has told me that that lady there is a really, really hard boss, and I can understand why. She's pretty ridiculous. Every time you make a turn, she attacks twice and casts a spell. So I hope I don't have to fight her again. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Len Lennis is ridiculous. I will say though, Wolf, air fryers are the best thing to cook in. <laughs> and I'm not just trying to convert you to my air fryer cult. A good model of air fryer is so good. And one of my relatives actually has offered me a super air fryer as a gift for inviting them over for so many meals over the past couple of years. It's apparently big enough to cook a turkey in, which means I'm gonna get to try an air fried turkey. 